So I just went to Publix and it's 1,000 degrees outside and I thought I parked under the shade, but apparently it doesn't matter. So, welcome to Florida. all that rain coming okay so remember that rain cloud I showed you well it takes like five minutes to drive home from the store and it's a torrential downpour and I have groceries in the car I don't know how to get in the house what a day what a day I'm gonna get wet so while I'm waiting for the rain to stop I just have to show you what I did it's raining really hard and I backed into the parking spot in the Explorer. I, d I know that doesn't sound that impressive, but it is. Like this lady is helping someone right there back out of a spot and they're in a little car. Like I didn't know all by myself. There may have been someone behind me, but I don't know. Probably not. You never know. Here's the rain. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's because I'm under a tree. Here's the other view. Okay, it really doesn't look like much, but it's raining. <laughs> and I don't want to get wet because I actually did my hair today. Look how pretty it is. Sometimes it's in the afternoon, sometimes it's in the evening. Today it's at 11 o'clock. Sometimes if you wait five or 10 minutes, it'll go away. Sometimes you think if you wait five or 10 minutes, it'll go away. It actually hangs around for like half an hour. So, you don't really know what's gonna happen. My, I bought some milk and eggs, so I probably should get in. But now, like I said, that sidewalk floods. So, I don't know if I wanna go in the flooding zone. Maybe the spider got washed into the flooding zone and it might touch me. These are the questions you have to ask yourself whenever you're caught in a rainstorm and you don't know if you want to go back into the house. Where are the spiders? Like, that's the real question here. Where are the spiders? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. So I did it. I went in the rain to get into the house. Went through the flooding, I was gonna show you, but it was too deep. Went over my shoes and my feet. I made sure the spider was still there. He's still there, chilling. There he is, little spidey whitey. He is huge, and you can really see his little spider web because of all the rain on it, which is pretty cool, but I do not like him or her. It's huge and just massive in there okay so I just got done with work for the morning and I came home and Jess was here and guess what she did she made me mac and cheese with Star Wars little character items on them Star Wars and there's hot dogs which is my favorite way to do mac and cheese if you've never had hot dogs with mac and cheese you should try it out Jess is headed on her way to go get an air filter, which is awesome. She doesn't know I'm filming her right now. She's gonna get an air filter because we need to do that since we're moving. Moving in a week and a half. Boom. All right, what are we looking at now? 
I'm gonna put the air filter in this little tiny box in here. Yeah, here I'll help you. Put it in there. This is how you properly put in a new air filter. See? It's just like that. And what you do is you look at how you did it before, taking out the old one out, making sure it's the exact same way. And then that little cover right here. And you just snap it back in. Just where you gotta stay away from all these little pipes. Why don't you put it? Got two Boom. And now you go to your air conditioner. I am at work and I'm working on a preschool handbook, which is pretty cool. It's for our preschool at the Springs. And over here is our large printer. And we're working on some, on some cool signs. You can see the signs right here. Boom, bada boom. And here's Kelly. She's our intern. Whoop! <laughs> Have an awesome day. Betty needs Jan to work on the first impressions team. Betty wants to join the group. Jan is unsure. Okay, so we are done with work. Yeah! Whoop, whoop. And we both have headaches because I think of allergies, maybe. But today's been a good day. We've got a lot accomplished. Saved the world several times. Now we're gonna go home, snatch on a hot dog day. I'm gonna see if there's a hot dog waiting for me at the guest house. Apparently, the, the people that, what do they call landlords? The landlords, uh, at least once a year, celebrate National Hot Dog Day and give us free hot dogs. <laughs> Allergies. If you didn't know that we were old souls up until this point, what are we watching, honey? Dick Van Dyke! <laughs> ba 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 Good show. What are we watching at night time? I Love Lucy! So good. It's in our kitchen. Oh, I see it. Oh, sick! That's how big he is. Ugh! No! <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how they do it on Finding Nemo. <laughs> done for the day and we had a good time at Church of the Springs and one of the things we do on Wednesdays is we are helping some of the students transition into college which is awesome I love college and we're gonna start a college age ministry so one of the things we're doing right now is going to what's this thing called I think it's called encounter but I also think they call it I think they call it midweek encounter mid, mid encounter we're gonna call it Mid Encounter. So yeah, it's been pretty good. We're gonna head home, probably watch some more Dick Van Dyke or Al Lucy. And nobody knows, because that's not cool here. <laughs> also, it's really humid. It's very humid. I feel humid. like I could swim in the air. And I love it. All right, we'll see you. Bye. Bye.